Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just want to do a super simple chit chat. Get ready with me. It's been a long time. So I just sat down, just played with makeup and talked to you guys. You guys will see me like mess up as always and talk to you guys about my thoughts and opinions on everything that's going on in life and create this look sort of. <laughs> so you guys want to see that, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna go in to start off with my eyes because I really like doing my eyes first. And I'm gonna use my P. Louise setting base right here. This is in the shade Rumor 2. And I'm gonna use it just to set my eyes. I'm gonna try something different today. I'm gonna try not to use the, um, the tape. I just wanna see if I can do it without using tape because I'm gonna go over it with foundation and concealer anyway if I mess up. So if I end up like butchering it or I get like way out here, like I just do with my concealer, it'd be pretty easy to clean up when I use my foundation stuff. I just really like to use the tape because it really, really helps to keep me in the lines because I've been one of those childs where I've never been able to color inside the line. I don't know why I can't cut a straight line to save my life. It's probably why I also struggle with um, freaking wing liners. But um, I don't know, I just wanna try it today without using the shield to see how well I can do or without using the tape to see how well I can do. All right, so it's been like a while since I played around with the Gemini palette because I really wanna just play around this palette. You guys have asked me to show you guys a look at this palette. So I'm gonna try something new, something I haven't done before. Normally I stick to just the green shades right over here. I never really venture over to this side, but I kinda wanna play around with Laura Lee and Polka Dot, so pretty. And then I might mess around with these shades though because I like absolutely want to and yes, they're ugly, so I'm sorry, but I also don't care. <laughs> so we're gonna play around these colors today. I'm gonna try a new technique to see how well I do. I'm really trying to like do things out of my comfort zone to really kind of test my skills because according to Bob Ross, once you have the technique down, all you need to do, all you need is a dream in your heart and desire to put it on canvas. <laughs> Thanks, Bob Ross. So inspirational. And plus you guys also been asking me to do a chit chat get ready with you. So I figured this would be a perfect time to do that. So the first one I'm gonna go into is this shade polka dot right here. I'm gonna take it on my Morphe E36 brush and we're gonna start to place that down right here. Very gently, really trying to go into my crease because I'm gonna blend that out with a different shade. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen on the news that as of Monday, May 4th, that Florida is going to slowly start reopening. And it's not what people think, like Disney's not reopening. Like Disney does not have a set date when they're opening. I think they're looking for, if they are gonna reopen, I think they're looking for it to be sometime in June for a reopen. But right now on Monday, they're gonna slowly start to open up some restaurants and like essential surgeries, like the gyms, the bars, like, barbers and hair salons and stuff like that still have to be closed, but restaurants that have outdoor seating can open along with like some retail shops, but they can only run at 25% capacity. So I know that if you have like an outside seating restaurant here, which almost all of Florida does, you can start to open that up. Same with like some retail stores, which I think is cool they're trying to do. Like I understand why they're doing it, but I mean, I definitely have a concern because I know that on Tuesday we had 83 deaths in the state of Florida alone. And then on Wednesday, we had 47 deaths on Wednesday and we had 350 new cases. So I get why the governor's trying to solely do phase one, but I also am like worried about it. Cause I just, I still feel like we're not like really ready in my opinion. So it definitely makes me concerned. Um, but yeah, I just, I honestly have no idea when Disney's gonna open. I get, I literally get a DM, I think every single day asking me, do we know when Disney's going to reopen? Do I have any news on it? What am I gonna do? And my answer to you is I am, I have no idea. No idea when Disney plans on reopening. Um, I obviously don't get those business emails. <laughs> I'm just a server, but literally I have no idea. And what my thoughts are on it is I definitely do have some thoughts. Um, it's hard not to have some thoughts because where I work, like being inside the theme park, it definitely is a very, very risky job because what they're gonna have us do is they'll have, because they already started putting out some like guidelines that they talked about. Um, you can see it like on Chip and Dale, stuff like that on Facebook. But they wanna have it where there's a hand sanitizer, or there's hand sanitizer at every single table. 
not only is it at every single table, I need like a really fluffy brush to fluff this out. Not only is it at every single table, but the servers have to wear a face mask. We have to get our temperature checked. Uh, there has to be disposable like menus, plates, cups, silverware, um, everything has to be disposable. Everybody has to be six feet apart, which if you guys have ever been to Disney theme park, you guys would see the restaurants, There's their tables are not six feet apart. They're always like close together because they're trying to maximize the most out of their business and make the most money, which again, I can understand. Um, so I don't really know how that's gonna work. And the restaurants also have to run at uh, 50 or 25 to 50% capacity when, we f when they first open up again. So again, it's just, it really is an unknown of what is going to happen, what is gonna be the future. So I just, I don't know. I don't know how business is gonna be. I know that the bars, they have to uh, wear face masks as well. They have to wash their hands between every single drink, which if you guys know at Disney, it's very, very difficult to do because it's so high volume. And we ha and it's just, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know what it's gonna be the future. I definitely know I have to go back because I have to make an income. Cause yes, I am now approved for unemployment, but it's still not the same. So it's definitely gonna be very, very interesting to see how this works out. Where is this glitter coming from? I've literally washed these brushes. Where the, is this glitter coming from? Damn. So yeah, it's just gonna be a process to see like how this is all gonna work out and like what's gonna happen. I mean, I know we talked to some of our bosses and they said that they probably won't see our restaurant going back to normal until like Christmas time. It's probably when like it will all go back to normal, but that's a long time from now, like a very, very long time from now. So again, I just, who knows what's gonna happen? I really don't know. I'm worried, I mean, for sure. I mean, it's hard not to be. It's hard not to be concerned. I mean, it's everybody's safety, you know? But I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow. All right, so I'm digging into this color right here called Laura Lee. Such a cute name, Laura Lee. It's like this mustard brown yellow. And I'm gonna place it right here. Also, I want to point out that yesterday would have been my no waste Wednesday. The reason why I have not posted it yet is because I don't have enough items to give away. I don't, I mean, I have like two or three, but I wanted to actually have like a decent box. So normally when I do my no waste Wednesdays, I do stuff that I get from my um, subscription boxes and I, from, from my subscription boxes, and I um, only had a couple items to give away because for the most part from the BoxyCharm, I got different items and items I was really excited about. So I, I kept those items. And even Ipsy, I was really excited. I've kept some of that stuff that I got from Ipsy, which is usually not like me to do. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and just collect everything from the month of April and May. And I'm just gonna put it in May's giveaway because I didn't want you guys to think that I forgot about it because I love doing my Noise Wednesday. It's probably like, like, it's like one of my like most fun videos to do because I love giving back but I literally just had nothing to give away fully. Like, I don't wanna just give you guys like one or like two or three things. Like, I don't know. I like actually giving back like a full amount of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully this looks decent. I'm, I'm trying, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow, but it's okay. Next, I'm gonna dig into this shade right here, Fire OG. I'm gonna take it on this JS12 brush. I start to pack it right here in the outer. Cause like the way this palette looks, oh my God, this palette is my favorite palette besides the Tati one. This is like literally my favorite palette right up there. And it's just, these are just such gorgeous colors. I feel like with this palette, you can create such a like grungy look. And I just, I'm so in the mood to like be like just grr, grungy. Especially cause I really loved how I did my smoke section video where I went really grungy in that video and at least on one eye. And I was like so in love with it that I was like, I have to do that look again. Like I loved the grungy look. And a lot of you guys actually really like that look as well. So it's something I really want to replicate and do again. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna try to do a 
cut crease or like a halo. I really want to do a halo. I'm trying to like see branch out and do like right above here and then this. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to be like somewhat a beauty guru or like an influencer because you guys say that I am. So I'm trying to like show you that, you know, if you dream it, you can do it. And if you try and you practice, like you can succeed. So that's what I'm trying to do today. So... Someone. Okay. I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. All right. So I need, um, all right. Now we're going to go into this color gold Z right here. Yeah, that V didn't work out, so I'm just kind of bringing it back down. So that V didn't work out, but that's okay. We're going to make this work. All right. I don't really know how I feel about this eye look. I've never done this eye look before. I normally just stick to the green, so I try to mix in different colors. I try to do something a little differently, and I really don't know how I feel about it. So I'm going to wait to see how I feel about it once I put on the lashes and like really start to clean up the face. But I think I want to like clean up the face. Oh, ooh. All right, I'm gonna put on the lashes and then I'll be right back guys. All right, so I went in with my D-Star Lashes in the Style page. These are the last leg of these lashes because I've worn them so much that they, I've tried to clean it and the glitter just doesn't wanna come off. So they're still not the best looking lashes, but overall I still really like how the lashes bring a look together. So we're still gonna use them, but after this I do have to toss them. So for the face today, I am gonna go in with my June and Co. Miracle Moon Shining Cream Primer. That's such a long name. Now Paige does have a code with them as code like XOXO Paige, where it saves you guys money off your purchase. I wanna say it's 10%, but it could be more. I'm not entirely sure but it, it's such a good primer. It did have a huge sale where it was a buy one, get one free, and a wonderful subscriber actually purchased me a set. I was so surprised, was not expecting it, and I went ahead and I sent her a little tiny something in the mail, so she has no idea that I got it, and she has no idea that I've seen it, and I've already thanked her for it, so that's gonna be awesome. I'm excited for her to see. Okay, so while my primer is actually drying down, I'm actually gonna use this little bit of a lip scrub right here. This is from April's Creation. A wonderful subscriber actually sent this my way. And it is an all natural makeup line. It is run by a single mother, which I'm so happy for her. And she does have an autoimmune disease. So she wanted to create some makeup products that would be very beneficial for her as well as anybody else there. Anybody out there who does struggle as well with any sort of skin issue, sensitivity, just, she wants to be able to help and give back. And so she created a whole cool makeup line. Well, right now it's a lip scrub. There's a there's a body butter and there's a makeup remover. And she created it to use all natural and organic ingredients. Like literally everything is natural and organic. You can make it at home. That's how awesome it is. It's homemade. And I really like trying out homemade stuff. I think it's really cool. But I've been using her lip scrub almost every single day because it really does like get in here it literally scrubs your lips but it makes it so nice and hydrated now my only feedback that i told her was that i like having scented products and she didn't put any scent in the product so i was like oh that's kind of like a bummer but i understood why she did because if there's no sense in it because you don't know what someone's allergic to what someone's not allergic to so she didn't put any scents in there so that everybody can use it but i think it's so cool april sent this my way you guys have to check them out i have the body butter right here along with the makeup remover right here as well and like she literally lists every ingredient what's on there how to use it. i think it's so cool so i'll have april's creation listed down below and the april thank you so much for sending these my way they're so cool and you guys have definitely got to go check her out for sure so for foundation today i'm gonna use a foundation i haven't used in a hot minute and that's my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless long wear foundation this is in the shade five this is a neutral shade and the reason why i want to use this is because it's one of my favorite foundations besides my believe beauty my favorite high-end luxurious foundation and i just really want to play with it today because it's just been sitting there and i'm like oh my baby. I go with my June & Co. Microfiber Rose Velvet Sponge right here. I forgot that I had this, honestly, until I started going through my makeup drawer because I really need to start cleaning out my stuff. Like me and Corey have been decluttering our apartment like crazy and we've been making more room. I actually moved two of my bookshelves over that were on this side of the apartment. They're now right next to me. I'm going to start going through them and actually getting rid of some stuff so that I can 
make room for makeup because I am completely out of room for makeup right now. And I need to have something to store all my stuff in. And when I was cleaning out my makeup drawer, just kind of just organizing, not getting rid of anything, I need to. Um, I saw that I had this sponge in here and I was like, oh my God, that's right. I was supposed to try out the sponge that Mikey sent to me literally a long time ago and I just never tried it out. So I'm gonna try it out today, see how well it does. God, I hate when I first apply foundation because it makes me look so ghastly. really not living for this eye look like up here it is a mess 100% a huge mess I look like so pale right now and this is my exact color like I don't know why it's looking like shit <sighs> all right well I usually don't use concealer but I'm actually gonna go in with my revolution conceal and hydrate concealer very very lightly very lightly I do my whole freaking face just not my makeup day. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm just so like, you guys ever just have those days when you're like, you're, you're doing your makeup and just not turning out the way that you want it to? Yeah, this is one of those days for me where it's just not turning out the way that I want it to. It's just, it's very disappointing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me Loose Powder from Maybelline. This is in the shade Light Medium because I feel like I'm looking really like palish right now and I'm not really understanding why I'm looking palish, but for some reason I am. I'm gonna use this to kind of like set my face. Oh my God, I'm supposed to be doing like a chit chat get right with me and I am failing to chit chat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I am sorry. I am failing at this like completely, but you know what? I feel like this is life. <laughs> You guys are just, you guys get to come experience my bad makeup day. I'm so excited we get to do this journey together. Like, you guys have no idea how excited I am about this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder, you know, I'm actually kind of curious about, like, I saw Jeffree Star tweeting out that um, California is going to start opening up and, like, he's solely able to ship out some products. So I'm kind of, like, wondering, like, when is his next launch going to be? Like, I wonder if he's going to announce, like, when his launch, next launch is going to be. Because I'm so used to, like, the launch being, like, in the store. And I know that... I don't think that's gonna happen unless they open up the malls, but I don't know if they're gonna put malls. I mean, they very well could, and they do. Like, oh, that'd be so nice. Like, cause I would love to get my hands on whatever it is that he launches, cause like, I love his stuff. Now, it's I know a lot of you guys like don't like him. Like, I get comments all the time whenever I do any sort of like Jeffrey Star video. I get comments like, "Don't support him. He's this. He's that." And like, I understand that you guys feel a particular way, don't like him, like, I get it, I do. But you also have to understand that I'm doing like a job. Essentially, I'm doing a job. So like, I get where you guys are coming from, but at the end of the day, like I'm doing a job and Jeffree Star products, like Jeffree Star Cosmetics, he makes fantastic products. Whether people like him or not, he really does make really great products. Uh, going with my um, Mac, give me some bronzer. Um, but he makes really fantastic products and it's my job to review them, even though like, I, I, every time I do any of his reviews, I get a lot of hate for supporting him, but it's like, guys, I'm, I'm doing my job. Like, you know, and if you don't, if you don't like him, that's okay. You don't have to watch the video, but you know, I'm, I'm doing a job. And like I said, I'm always here to review a makeup product, not the person behind it. And I know that it was like a little controversial when I did my, um, eyeshadow palette video, which I had no idea that it was actually getting views. I'm like, wait, it's getting views. Did not expect it. And, um, people are like, oh, but like, how could you say that and then do the Too Faced Cosmetics not want to review the, the Palm Spring palette. Well, I didn't want to review that palette because I got it in a box charm box right as the drama was happening. And there's a difference between people just like hating someone because they messed up with a lipstick line and they um, just ran from it and never actually talked about like what happened compared to someone who like really makes fun of like the trans community. I'm not about attacking anyone on like their weight, their sexuality, what gender they are. I do not support that. So. I've always had issues with Too Faced. I think that they've been a very problematic cosmetic company since like the get-go and I've just never really used too much other products. And I have some palettes from them that I really do like, like my Life's a Festival one. I really love that palette. And I'll use that palette, but I won't really venture else into the brand because I also find the brand to be 
pretty boring. I mean, if, if I'm being honest, it's brand I find is pretty boring and nothing they create that really stands out to me anymore. Especially since like I have so much makeup at this point, it, like the, what it has, it has to be something that I really, really want. Like Glam Light Cosmetics, like their donut palette. I really want that donut palette because it looks so freaking cool. And it's a donut theme. And I will be getting my hands on that for sure. Especially since like I got my start here on YouTube, my most viral video with that donut. Like, well, I mean, I say viral video because it's like one of the first videos to ever like hit 10,000 views on my channel. And I was like, oh my God. And those are my Art Heart Revolution donut palette video. So when I saw like Glam Lights doing it too, I was like, oh, like I have to, I have to get it. Like there's no doubt I have to get that. Um, I'm gonna try this new blush today. I don't really know if it's gonna look really nice. It's from Benefit Cosmetics. It's their new Georgia Peach uh, blush. It's not really my type of style blush, but we're gonna give it a try. God, what is that? Why does it smell like pure heaven? I don't, I mean, it's mostly making my cheeks look like shimmery. There's not really much pigment. It's very, very peachy. Oh my God, Durr. Georgia peach will be like a peachy looking blush. I get it, I get it. Oh my God, okay. I. This should be like a crime for how amazing that smells. I kind of really had to feel like, I feel like I've really got to like, like pack on the shade to really get some sort of like color out of it. But I'm so sorry I'm off of camera. I'm so sorry. I've been looking at this mirror that's in front of me and you guys can obviously see it, but I'm trying to look at what I'm doing. All right, now I need to do my under eyes. So I, <laughs> all right, now I really need to do my under eyes. So I really need to get my brush. Okay, so for the under eye, I wanna go in with this shade Laura Lee and Polka Dot right here. I mean, I'm not very happy with how my eye turned out. It's just not my proudest moment. But I tried something different. I'm gonna take both colors mixed together and I'm actually gonna place it right under here. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop. This is the Zoella Collab right here. And this is gonna be in the shade Sincerely Yours. It's like, oh. that's the only thing I don't like about ColourPop and their gel liners. Like their gel liners, like they're great, but damn, they break so easily. It's sad. Okay, so I feel like that liner is just kind of like pure garbage because it's not actually like leaving anything on my under eyes. So I'm actually gonna go in with this Appeal Gel Liner. This is in the shade Desert Taupe. I'm gonna try this one out. Ah, somewhat worked, somewhat. Then for mascara, I'm gonna go in with my Roller Lash right here from Benefit Cosmetics. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. That and my Tarte, that and my Thrive Cosmetics. Oh my God, I think it's like the Lash Extension Mascara. I'm not exactly sure what it's called because at this point I've used it so much that the name has physically run off the mascara, but oh my God. When you combine those two together, they look so freaking pretty. Let me spray the face. Peach mixed together is great. I want a very, very subtle highlight today. I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Brighten Up Luminous Powder right here. I feel like I still look so pale, even though like looking right here, it looks like my exact skin match. So like, it's kind of weird that it's looking like that, but that's okay. I'm gonna tap off very much, like literally almost all the product because I just wanna go very, very light. I just wanna have like, kind of like that, that glow within. Sort of. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do, very lightly. All right, so then I'm gonna go into my Jeffree Star Sour Ice. I freaking love this highlight, especially like an inner corner. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna dab it right here into the inner corner. I saw because of like the gold and like the green reflex, I just feel like it just looks so good with any like look, particularly if you're using any sort of like greens, yellows, and browns. It just like really mixes in there and just looks so freaking pretty. 
All right, moving on to the lips. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop liner right here. This is in the style Minute Man. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go underneath because I really want to make my lips pop. So I'm gonna go underneath to kind of enhance them. Drawing along underneath my natural lip line. Very lightly. I know some people like to color theirs in, but I'm, I just want to like draw it in so I can like kind of stay within the line. And then I kind of switched it up. So before I used to use my Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin, but now I'm going with my Kylie Cosmetics. This is in the shade Savage. This is a, uh, their Velvet Liquid Lip. And I just love this freaking shade mixed together. And I just use the liner as like a base to not go past. Kind of like you're coloring inside the line. Let that dry down. All right, and then I'm gonna top it off with my Fenty Beauty. This is in this shade uh, Fenty Gloss, the original. So pretty. Give it one final tug. All right, guys, and this is the final look. So let's take a look at it together. I need to like really like look at my eyes. Um, they're not the worst thing in the world, but I don't know. I guess I just feel like I struggled a little bit with this part right here. Kind of like struggled to blend that out or it just was a little bit too pigment for me. But I feel like it ended up just maybe overall looking pretty decent. Like when I look at it far away and I look at it like in, in um, my mirror right here, I feel like it looks pretty decent, but it's just like when I do like a zoom up, I'm like, oh God, like what happened? Um, other than that, I think it came out pretty well. I'm somewhat satisfied with it. Um, it's not my favorite look. By any means, it's not my favorite look at all. Like I guess I normally play around with these colors right here, these green colors. I don't really go too much into this side, but I try to branch out today. I try to implement more colors, more techniques. I'm just trying to improve my skill because Bob Ross, said that in the month of May, once you had the technique down, all you need is a dream in your heart and desire to put on canvas, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take this time in quarantine to improve my skills and I don't know, I feel like I'm somewhat getting there. Practice makes perfect. But um, yeah, this is pretty much how I do my makeup routine. This is how I do like the, my normal face and everything like that. So I wanted to show you guys how I got ready and just kind of take you guys along on this journey and talk to you guys somewhat. I know some parts I didn't talk because then I just started getting like really like flustered and struggled. And you know, I felt like my foundation looked off. I felt like everything looked off. And you just feel like it's just one of those days where you just like struggle with makeup. You guys ever have one of those days where your makeup just like just wants to struggle with you? I feel like this is the day. The day that I choose to do a chit chat, get rid of me, my makeup just wants to be like <sighs> messy. <laughs> but you know what? I guess it's the name of the game. Makeup's never gonna be perfect and you're gonna have those days where it's gonna be great and you're gonna have those days that you're gonna be like, oh girl, what'd you do? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I highly recommend this product if you guys haven't checked it out. I highly recommend getting the Gemini palette. It is my favorite palette. Literally in the entire world along my Tati Beauty, those two are right up there with them. I think this is the best Melt Cosmetics palette there is. So I definitely recommend checking them out when they do reopen. And hopefully you guys like this little chit chat. Get ready with me. I don't really know how this is going to turn out. I won't know until I start editing, but I, I hope it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for coming along the journey. And that is it for today's video, guys. So make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post three to four or every other day, or sometimes every day, just depending. <laughs> also, you guys head over to my other channel. It is R4 to Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful, adventures, amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. Okay, this is my favorite high-end drug. This is my lips are so chapped. While my moisturizer or why my while my primer is drying down, I'm gonna use this little lip. So I'm gonna use my June and Co. Uh, Miracle. I'm gonna use my June and Co. So I'm gonna go in with my June and Co. Microfiber. This is the rose velvet. I'm gonna go. Ooh, I'm gonna go with my June and Co. Michael Fiber. Michael. I'm gonna go in with my June and Co. Microfiber. This is the. I'm gonna go. All right. So while my makeup is dry, or while my go into my June and Co. Microfiber Rose Velvet Sponge. I'm gonna